Oh, you f***ing idiot. Put a base coat on it. Hey, gang. Hey, friends. Hey, gang. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, then hi there. Hello. My name is Joe, and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails. She stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. I do need to point out, you know I'm supposed to be growing my nails, doing a stellar job. One's come off completely. Two have broken. Oh no, three have broken. Since then another's broken. It's my doers. My doer fingers. Anyway, so that's why they look like shit throughout this video, but who cares? Breathe. We're starting with Pink Petals, which is a gel perfection colour, as are all of them, which you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk, and you can use code TEAMDG for a discount. I know, you're so lucky. Uh, so I'm bringing that almost down to the bottom, leaving a tiny gap, and then I'm taking Alaska and we're going to pop that at the bottom, just push up into that pink a bit. Um, you won't get any in your brush if you do it this way, but if you do, just give it a little wipe before you put it back in the um, pot, jar, bottle, bottle, got there. <laughs> um, I'm now taking an ombre brush. Normally I use a detail brush to swipe left to right to do an ombre, but I've been trying to, you know, get to grips with the ombre brush because I was never a fan. Still not completely sold and I don't think it would be easy to do on a person because just the mess. Whereas if you use just a detail brush, you're not gonna get it all over their sidewalls and you know, up in their hair and on the windows and out the window and you know, um, but I'm using it for this. Um, so this is the second coat. I just did one of the nails in all pink petals. I think I've done this on four the um, sort of boomer, baby boomer type French fade ombre, whatever you'd like to call it. So that's the second coat. And what I've done is I've let that, once I've done that, I'm gonna pop it to the side and just leave it for a minute um, before putting it in the lamp. So any strokes, any line marks um, will kind of just ease out, ooze out. No, that's a horrible word. Just fade out, just blur out. What's the f***ing word I'm looking for? They'll just kind of, the gel will, Join back to itself when the strokes will disappear. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> it's Saturday. I've had a drink. Uh, I put a coat of foil it on that one, and I'm now taking this foil um, called Pink Cascade, also from Diamond Glitters, um, and I'm cutting because it's a clear foil. I'm just cutting round um, the pattern I want because I'm not going to do a full cover, and then I'm going to place that onto the foil, foil, foil it, gel, um, which has a two minute cure. And then you've got the perfect tacky layer for picking up your foil. So I didn't want to just rub all over it because obviously the top part of that nail um, is sticky. So I don't want to put my grubby fingers all over it and whatever. So I'm trying to just rub the part that's got the foil. And then as per, I rub longer than necessary because I'm still scared of foils. <laughs> it's been 25,000 years, Joe. Stop it. Um, peeling that off, and now I'm taking this butterfly from the Water Decals number 987 from, you guessed it, Diamond Glitters. Uh, and cutting that out. It doesn't matter how much you cut around it because the actual decal has a slight clear border around it, but even if you cut loads of the white card out, the bit that comes off is only going to be the size of the butterfly. So I'm going to pop that in some water for about 30 seconds and then slide it off um, and pop it onto my cuticle stick. Oh, and then I just <laughs> about for ages. Um, I wanted to get it so he was just perching on that part of the branch leaf twig, whatever. Um, but I messed around a bit, so I was picking at it and pulling at it. But obviously they dry, you know, after a few seconds. So you kind of want to get it where you want it as soon as possible. Um, and then patted that down, realized I'd creased its wing, tried to poke at it, realized I was going to split it if I did that. So just pressed it in there. <laughs> Nobody will know. Um, so making sure that's flat, but they are very thin. So don't stab at it too much because, you know, butterflies have feelings too. 
Um, and then I'm going to put some of the first base over the top because we are going to add some of this, which is called Blossom Candy. I figured that was appropriate for... People have been asking for spring florally type stuff. I'm not quite there yet. Are you there yet? I'm still very much content with dark winter, na <laughs> winter nails. Although I will be wearing dark winter nails right through till next winter. <laughs> um, but so I thought I'd do a pink, girly, glittery, butterfly, flowery, blech, um, you know, set. <laughs> it's great, I love it. Um, so I'm adding some of that glitter um, to the wet base coat that I've put over the top. So I haven't cured that base coat, it's wet. The glitter's going straight onto that. I'm going to move it about a bit and just fill in some gaps. Um, I didn't know, I had no plan. <laughs> As her, I just sat down and thought, right, what would I be least likely to put on my nails? And it was pink, flowers, and butterflies, which I can appreciate is a pretty combination. It's just not very me. Um, so I don't sit down and think, oh yeah, let's do something flowery. I'm like, oh, I suppose I better do some flower stuff. <laughs> Uh, so this foil, I popped it on there and then realised that I'd cut part of a flower off. So I'm cutting out um, the top part of that flower and then I'm just going to pop that next to it to kind of disguise the fact that I just cut some of it off. Um, and I pressed it down. The plan was to then um, peel off the backing, but I couldn't quite get... All right, stop rubbing, it's on. Couldn't quite get it up we <laughs> so instead of peeling it up I just top just topped it <laughs> just cook that shit in there it's fine nobody has to know it's not going to affect you know it's not a full coverage it's not going to lift or peel and you can't see it so what's the big deal um so I put some some of the first base on there again and I'm just adding some more glitter to um, to this nail as well. I think I did go in and um, pop some, pop a tiny piece, just one piece of glitter in the centre of each of the flowers. I just, I just stopped and then ran upstairs and ran back down again. Should have given myself longer to recuperate. <laughs> um, and then we're doing the same on this one, but I'm sort of, I've got them higher on one side. The flowers coming up higher on one side. So I think I did it higher on the left on one and higher on the right on another. I don't know, can't remember. <laughs> it was a few days ago. I filmed three videos, so I'm three in advance and then I worked on my top secret project, which I can't tell you about that yet. Um, what was I talking about? Nail, uh, exactly the same on this one. Added some base coat, added the glitter to the wet base coat, cured it. Um, I'm doing the same on this one. Oh, so I did two full pinks and three um, baby boomers. Um, and then this one again with the first base while it's wet, just adding some glitter. To do this a glitter fade, be it from the top or the bottom, um, I put a bunch of glitter on my brush, pat it, so you want it most compact at the start. And then as you work your brush upwards, obviously the wet um, base coat is going to take off some glitter from the brush so as you work up it's going to kind of fade itself out um, but you can prod and poke at it for a little bit if you want. Um, I'm now taking some mixed AB crystals and some slim navettes and some normal navettes. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, and some from this wheel. Oh so I'm, I'm taking these tiny little, I don't know, what are they? Bits. Um, and I decided to try and create something. <laughs> I'm taking super base, super base. Um, and I'm going to try and make a butterfly. I have never, I'm not one for being any good at crystal patterns. I just, I don't know, I can never think of any. So why I thought it was a good idea to try and create an animal out of them, um, I don't know but it, it kind of looks okay. So I've done a long one in the middle and then the two smaller ones for the top parts of the wings and then just plain, um, just little round ones for the bottom part and then using those little um, uh, rod, pokey, semicircle, arced, pointy stick things. 
<laughs> that's their official title. Um, I, po I put those onto the super base and then prodded them about once I got them in position, cured them, and I made a little butterfly! I feel like a genius. I feel like I'm the smartest woman on earth, even though, you know, the wings could have been higher or the body could have been lower and whatever. But I've never made anything out of crystals before, so I was like, woo! Look at me! Um, I'm now topping everything. I'm doing something different when we get to topping the crystals, but I'm taking super gloss to top all of these. So you can top with a normal top coat, and then if there's any sort of pokey up or rough bits from the glitter, um, give it a buff and then retop. Um, but I'm taking super gloss because it's a thicker sort of rubber type top coat. Um, so it's going to seal everything in without leaving any um, bumpy bits or rough bits from the glitter. So we don't need to um, top buff top. Although I am a fan of the top buff top. I just think that final top coat when everything, you know, you top and then when you buff and it's super smooth and that final top coat's just, oh, oh, it's just so satisfying. Um, but I'm using super gloss for this because I can be bothered to do that step. Because I'm a lazy Um Topping the little butterfly. We need to name name the butterfly, so comment below what you think he should be named. She, he, whatever, I don't know. He's gender neutral. Um, I'm now taking the Seal It Up pen, which is from Daily Charm, and I'm sealing it up. Uh, just where the um, wings of that butterfly, the top wings, obviously they're flat-backed and the nail's curved, so I'm kind of filling in the gap between the flat back and the curve of the nail with this Seal It Up pen. So if this a little... Um, oh, yes, if this was on a person, then, you know, they'd get their hair stuck in any bits and you don't want that. That would just be a pain in the ass. So I'm also topping the antenna, antennae, antenna, anten deck. Do they have anten deck in other countries? Anyway, um, I'm covering that as well those antennae and then curing all of that and then topping around it with diamond gloss of course of course um but everything's sealed in so we don't need to worry about the diamond gloss being used to kind of you know seal everything in because that's already done we're fine we're good to go um again going over the antenna slash antennae slash anton deck saturday night takeaway um and then popping that in the lamp are we done so no okay um i'm wiping just wiping the crystals in case there was any wax from the wax pencil i used to pick them up and then just marveling at my creation i've made life it's the only life i have any intention of ever making <laughs> um and then this is all of them a pink sparkly flowery butterfly set my worst nightmare um, but it's cute and as I say I've filmed two other videos so we've got more coming up. What are they? Can't remember. Oh one's got rainbow in it and one is blue and I don't know. Um, but you'll have to come back and see. If you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos. You can follow me on Instagram at Miss Nail Co. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.